Welcome back everybody. We're up here in the Flathead Valley in northwestern Montana. And what can be more Montanan than steak? A big old Montana tenderloin, Montana stir fry. First things first, check out all these beautiful ingredients. Oh my goodness, I think this is probably gonna be the most beautiful stir fry I have ever made. And I'm on the road, so of course I'm using that Blackstone 28 inch adventure ready griddle. Stir fry, so we're going hot and heavy. Always high heat with stir fry. Avocado oil is a good choice. You could leave it like that, but I always like to rub it into my griddle top. And to get it all equally oiled, be careful though. I'm using my bare hands. You might want to use protective gloves. Some gorgeous broccoli and a whole bunch of red bell pepper. It looks pretty already. Followed by red onion and red cabbage. Carrots and snow peas. A little more avocado oil on top. The secret to stir fry is high heat and you keep those spatulas moving. I suppose that's probably why they call it stir fry because you're constantly stirring. Think about going to a Chinese restaurant. They're using those woks. So they're blazing super hot and everything is moving. Pick these up at the local grocery store today. Yakisoba or yakisoba noodles. These will work out perfect for our big old Montana stir fry. And I'm gonna mix those veggies up with the noodles right away. So the secret to getting your noodles to taste good, because they're just cooked noodles, you want the noodles to absorb the oils from the veggies, from the meat. And the noodles are really cool. They're like little flavor transport vessels. <laughs> Trying to cook for a large group of people. We have 12 people tonight. We move everything over into a big pile, put down a little more of the avocado oil. I'm gonna mix some fresh garlic up with the steak. It's gonna cook up super quick. We have avocado oil, beef tenderloin, and garlic over here. Gonna make sure that's done before we mix everything together. Which, by the way, I believe we're looking perfect over here. I can see those oils glistening in the Montana sunset. Now I'm gonna add my sprouts. Good way to liven up your dish. If you're new to griddling, Blackstone has a lot of sizes, 36 inch. That's my favorite at home. I'm always using the 36 inch. I use a 36 inch on the griddle mortar. Sometimes if I'm camping or I'm just hunting with my son, we might be using a smaller 17 or a 22 inch. A 28 inch griddle is great because it's that full size. It feels like a 36 inch, but obviously it's just a little bit smaller. Now I'm gonna mix the veggies and the noodles up with the steak. This is gonna be our final push to the end. As I get close to the end, I always like to add a little bit of spinach. It's a nice way to just bulk up your stir fry and also add some good color as well, some nutrients. I'm pushing the limits as to what my griddle can hold. We're gonna mix it up and that spinach is gonna steam down, it's gonna wilt down. Towards the end, pepper, black pepper. You can season this up any way you want to. Lemon pepper is good, granulated garlic because I can just never have enough garlic. A little bit of salt and to pick this up at a local grocery store. I've never tried it before, it's a culinary tour. Sesame teriyaki sauce. Always put my stir fry sauce on at the end. Sometimes they have a lot of sugar in there. You want it to get caramelized but you don't want it to burn on the griddle top. Toasted sesame seed as a nice finishing touch. Another ribbon of the teriyaki sauce. And last but not least, chopped green onions. Take a look at that. It looks beautiful. Let's get some steak. Let's get some teriyaki sauce. There's some spinach, broccoli, and of course, noodles. Let's give it a try.
person that's out of this world. I'm kind of weird when it comes to steak. I don't like using cheap steak. Figure I don't buy steak a lot. So if I buy steak, it's gonna be something good like a tenderloin, a filet, a New York strip steak. So using the tenderloin is a difference maker. I don't like it when you go to a restaurant, whether you're talking like a Noodles, World Kitchen, or a stir fry place, whatever, and you get steak in your stir fry and there's fat in there. Oh, it's terrible. So use a good piece of steak, why not? And splurge and have a delicious steak stir fry like we did here today. And for what it's worth, that stir fry sauce, I got it at Safeway here in Whitefish, Montana, is killer. Friends, mm, make sure you're watching all of our shows on the Blackstone Network. Make sure you're watching all of my shows here. We've got a whole big series on Montana. And this fall, we'll be transitioning into lots more hunting and fishing and wild game processing and giving you more of the outdoors. That's where it all started for me on the Blackstone Griddle cooking outside, adventure cooking. We're gonna go in and feed the whole family. So thanks for watching everybody and until next time, praise the Lord and pass the Montana tenderloin stir fry.